Hello fellow tamers, welcome back to our Digimon World 3 Let's Play. This is episode 7, and admittedly got a little sidetracked in episode 6, but we did activate the fishing rod side quest that we will complete in episode 7. In the previous episode, we found the kicking boot boots, um, and we also lost in a card game. So we're actually going to make our way back over to Divermon's Lake, because now that we've talked to the fishermen down there, we should see a Divermon that we can save, because we need to get three components for the fishing rod. One is going to be the rod itself, which is a bamboo spear that you can find at the smith shop in Asuka City. The second thing that we need is going to be a hook, which we'll get from Divermon. And the third thing we'll need is actually fishing line, which um, we will find out where that is later in the episode. So we did a little bit of grinding off screen. Monmon Mon is level seven now, and our Hookmon is level four. And I believe both Agumon and Renamon have champion forms that are level five at this point. Once we get everyone to level five, I think I will switch to Renamon because Renamon's champion form will be really helpful in some upcoming boss fights. And just a side note, if you don't know which Digimon you want to level up or evolve into later in the game, that's okay. But if you are going for specific Digimon Pass, just a gentle reminder that you may want to use the guide that's linked in the description below, just to make sure that you're leveling with the right Pokemon, sorry Digimon, <laughs> I keep, keep calling them Pokemon, um, the right Digimon. You also may want to consider if you want to keep all the Digimon that you started with. So for example, if you wanted to switch out Monmon, Mon, you may not want to level that Digimon up. It's a totally viable strategy to just level up one Digimon or two Digimon until you can recruit other ones. But for this playthrough, I do believe that we're just going to go through with our original starters, but that may change as we as we get further in the game. But making our way through Eastwire Forest, um, if you don't have your champions to level, sorry, your rookies to level 5 and you're looking for champion forms, um, you're going to want to grind in the previous section of the map because you'll get double XP. Alright, so we got Renamon to level 7, and this is a good example. You can see that Monmon Mon at 293 got to level 7 at, at minimum. Um, and I say at most, and Renamon got there at 318. So you're starting to see how the Digimon level up, and Algamon's at 346 and has not leveled up to level 7 yet. So just keep that in mind as you're going through the game uh, which Digimon you want to grind up at certain points. But we're actually going to keep going this way so that we can get to Divermon Lake. Hopefully, we've activated the side quest accurately and we won't meander around here again. But we should come down here, perfect. And now we do see the Divermon, so we'll come over here. Divermon, the pain. <laughs> There's something stuck in my throat. Please take it out. Thanks, that feels better. Great job. Oh, a red snapper was stuck. I don't need it, so you can have it. Later. Cool. Um, so we did pick up that item. I think we can view it here if we go into the item section. This sh Either it's red snapper or it's a hook. I don't remember what the game calls it. But let's see... Okay, cool. Red Snapper. Um, so, item for fishing pole. So, we need to get one more item for our fishing pole. And it's actually going to be a spider web. And to get that, we're going to go to a new section of the game called Protocol Ruins. It's a very... It's actually a hub of, of, of activity in the game. We'll visit here many, many times before we're done. But for now, we need to come over here so that we can defeat some of the Digimon here and so that we can get a spider web. I do believe the trainer down there is a tamer, not a card battler. So once we are finished in Protocol Forest, we will go down and see if we can battle them. Um, Kawagamon, we should be able to one-shot here with just our attack with Renamon, so we're gonna go for that. And then, okay, cool, yeah, we're good. So hopefully we can get Kaibimon to level 10 pretty quickly. I think before we get into some boss fights, we'll want Kaibimon to be level 15, but we'll just keep grinding a little bit. And I know I mentioned in a previous video that I was pretty sure I knew what Digimon I wanted to Digivolve into, but as the game's going, that, that may switch up. I've been thinking, thinking more about it off screen. Um, so this is Protocol Forest, one of my favorite sections of the entire game, and it's cool to get here so early. Um, there are many places to visit here. You can go into this little maze. Um, it's really hard to navigate, so we won't do that yet. Um, but we will, in a very, very soon episode, or future episode, we will be able to jump in there. So, it's actually the Digimon that we need. Um, we do need to defeat some of these so that we can get a spider web. One thing to know is that they can poison you, and poison does so much damage in this game. I'm pretty sure that poison out damages just their regular and special attacks. So just keep that in mind. But it looks like we're one-shotting everything with a level, I think, 6 champion? Level 5 champion. So we should be good there. Uh, we got some bit, but we did not get a spider web. So we're just going to be in here for a little bit until we do get that spider web. 
And this is actually a good grinding point too. So even if it takes a few of these Digimon to get the item that we need, that's totally fine because before we move on after the uh, fishing rod, we're probably going to get all of our champion forms at level 10 anyway. And we're probably going to do it in this section of the game. So totally fine. I do wish we had a faster encounter rate though, so we're not trying so hard to find one. And this is uh, Dakugumon. I think I said that right. I'm so terrible at pronouncing monster names, but I love monster catching games. The world that we live in. So this should still be a one shot. I don't think there are damage rolls in this game, and if there are, I, I don't know how they work, but I, I think it's just like whatever damage you do is what you do. Um, we get 21 XP, we get bit. Unfortunately, we did not get a spider web yet. So we'll keep searching in here. I, I would jump up here and like just show you the rest of the map. But I do believe we start getting different Digimon over there, and it's really like difficult to navigate in my opinion. So I'm hoping that um, our next ta is it Takugumon? Hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Will give us what we need here. I think I'll like phonetically go through and figure out how to say these Pokemon Digimon names. Ugh. I keep saying Pokemon. I'm so used to playing Pokemon on YouTube, not Digimon. But I will I will do better for sure. <laughs> so this is one shot. Again. Oh no, it didn't. So see, that only did 141, our, and our other two attacks did, I think, one, 220 and 226. So, I'm really not sure how, how the damage rolls work or stats work. Uh, I think, oh, we did get poisoned. So you'll see here, okay, so we're not going to get taken out. Sorry, we're not going to take any poison damage, so we are just going to knock this thing out because poison does quite a bit, and after the battle's over, our poison ailment should be cured, so that's perfect. And let's see, do we get a level 7? Nice. Cool. Good. Alright, nice. So we get the spider web. You can see it down on the bottom under Agumon is the spider web. So now with the bamboo spear, the spider web, and the red snapper we just got, we can go ahead and complete this side quest. We'll just go find the fisherman. And along the way, I think we'll just stick with Renamon and Kaibimon here. Um, we will come back because I do believe that's a tamer and I want to get the experience and the bit as well. Because there is a special item that we can get in Asuka City before we leave to like farther parts of the map. So I want to make sure we have enough uh, bit for that. I really wish we could get this Digimon. Unfortunately you can't recruit it, but oh, I, I love Betamon so much. It's <laughs> such a cool Digimon. Alright. Did we get a level 8? That'd be cool. No. Okay. Um, we got a power charge. Okay, cool. I would also recommend not using your power charges if you can. You may need them in up in some upcoming battles. You also have been probably grinding enough at this point where you can afford to go buy some. I think they're like, I don't know, was it like 12 bit or something like that? So if you really do need some, I mean, if you need to use one, I should say, you should definitely use it. All right, so making our way through Westwire Forest. I really, I really like the atmosphere of this game. Like, look at this. That's just like a plug into a headphone jack. That's really cool. There, there are trees for some reason. Um, what's that? Video or audio right there? I think I think it's just really cool how they made made this game. All right, so we're coming around and look at that. I don't even know what that is. It's like a watermelon, but it's robotic. <laughs> I guess that kind of sums up Digimon, right? A watermelon that's robotic. That's a giant cannon or something. I feel bad. See this poor little thing. It, it's just <laughs> so little. I, I have no idea what this Digimon Digi Evolution line is. So I've just gotten back into like Digimon and like monster catching games and I'm rewatching some of the old animes and things like that. But some of these Digimon, I just don't know where they came from. Um, so in the comments, definitely like shout out some of your favorite Digimon um, or some of your favorite memories of seeing some of these uh, Digimon that we're seeing on screen. Like Mamon, for example, I don't think really appeared in the anime and I think, was this the only game for a while that it appeared in? Because I don't think you, it appeared in the DS games. Or if... I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I, I, I'm still playing through like Dawn and Dusk, but I don't think Mon Mon was in those games. So I wonder why it was in here. But we are coming back to the Fisherman so that we can finish this quest. A Bamboo Spear, Spider Web, and Red Snapper. Wait a moment, I'll make you a fishing bowl. Alright, the Digimon in the backpack. That's always a good sign. I think I can make the best fishing pole ever. Nice. Of course, it's only a matter of opinion. Use this fishing pole I made and you'll catch big fishes. Okay. Good luck catching the big fishes. Okay, here you go, boy. <laughs> I really like the dialogue in this game. It's cool. Huh? Thanks, Pops. Yeah, I got the fishing pole. 
All right. <laughs> well, good luck. All right, and we're on our way. Cool. So that is how you get the fishing rod in this game. Really important for grinding. Uh, I'll try one over here. We might <laughs> might lose. We might get a game over. Uh, but I will fish over here real quick just to show you how it works. All right, so we're going to hop over to just the entrance here. Uh, I think we're in an okay spot to do this. We'll see. We'll see. I think with Renamon's form, we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit more grinding. <laughs> Another encounter is actually really good here, uh, so that's perfect. Uh, we'll just fight. This is a one shot. Getting to level 8 would be kind of cool, especially for what we're about to do. So, the reason why I'm so concerned is because fishing in this game brings really powerful Digimon, and it's definitely not scaled for where you need to be. Like, you can go fight ultimate level Divermon, and you just really can't do anything with, with them. Um, cool. So when you're ready to fish, that little icon will appear over your head. But before we do fish, I'm going to use a power charge here. So we'll go to items, and then we will click uh, power charge. So kind of a waste, but I want to make sure that we have as much HP as possible here. And then um, the spider web that we collected, it looks like we kept that. And I am curious if our weapons are still attached. Okay, cool. So even though you have to use the bamboo spear to create the fishing rod, it doesn't take it away from how many that you own. So Renamon still has two bamboo spears equipped, which is great. And I think here we're going to go ahead. Yeah, let's do let's do one fish. I think we'll be okay. Um, so what you want to do is either get yellow. Yellow is going to be Cardmon. Uh, or if you get green, that'll be um, the water Digimon that's available to you at the time. If you get blue, it'll just kind of give like a like a squirrely thing above your head and you're not able to catch anything. Um, so card bomb are surprisingly powerful from what I remember. Um, so we'll use Thunderbolt. This should be super effective or like highly effective against card bomb, but I don't think it tells you that. It just does more damage. Okay, see, that did 77 and that was our special. And Renamon's a, a pretty powerful Digimon. I'm sorry, Kaibimon is a pretty powerful Digimon. Um, okay, we got cursed. We, <laughs> we might get a game over here. Um, I'm gonna try to run actually because we're we're just like under leveled for this. Um, okay, so we do lose uh, Kalubimon there, unfortunately. We'll go to Greymon. I think Greymon might be our best bet. I might have to I might have to use the special Digivolve switch earlier than I was anticipating in this game because we might have gotten ahead of ourselves. So here's Greymon. I'm. I, we'll try to flee here. Try to run. Okay, Cardamon trying to flee. Okay, thank goodness. So <laughs> that's a really good example of how you're just not ready to fish yet. I don't. I think the item was made to get like later in the game, maybe when you when you're exploring that part. But it. it you run to the character so early. I can't imagine that you weren't supposed to get it at this point. But as you can see, we got body by Cardamon. So you're just not ready to fish, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but what I do want to do now, after now that we've completed the fishing rod side quest, again, bamboo spear which you can get at the armory, the spider web which you can get in Protocol Forest by fighting the spiders, and then the red snapper you'll get by going to Divermon Lake. Once you've done that, you probably are going to want to grind your team up a little bit because the next thing that we're going to do um, actually involve the gym badges, which is part of our mission to this point in the game is become, I think it's world champs what they call it in this game. So to do that, um, you have to go to some different cities, fight gym leaders, get badges. But we do want to level up a little bit before that. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to visit the inn on our way up there. Actually, we'll check our team first. because I don't, I don't think we're going to need all that MP. We might. And for right now, we can just hit attack to our fight, I should say, to get rid of these Digimon. So I'll take a look at our team. We might not need to go heal up because we're going to want all of our, our champion forms to get to level 10 anyway. Um, I will say before you start grinding, again, look at the guide in, in, in the description down below, because if you're not going to be playing, like, for example, with Agumon throughout the playthrough, or Renamon, or you're looking for, like, a specific champion, then Ultimate Mega Form, um, you may decide that you don't want to do the grinding here that I'm doing. Um, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're okay. And Kaibimon is level 8, which is really good. Um, that will help our grinding quite a bit. I think in the next episode, we'll, we'll, take, we'll roll the dice and see if this is actually a tamer or a card battler or not. Um, but here's where we're going to be grinding. I would highly keep in mind that 
you can get poison. If you are poison, you're going to want to switch that Digimon out as quickly as possible or end the match as quickly as possible because poison can do a lot of damage. Um, if you're not going to be using all these Digimon or you want a specific champion form to get to certain ultimates and megas, make sure to check that before you are grinding. And thank you for watching. Um, we will see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And we'll see you in episode 8. Alright, bye.